I'm Cassie. And hi, I'm Fatima. And we play Mrs. Appleyard in Picnic at Hanging Rock. So personally for me, getting into process for this character specifically was a little difficult at first simply because she does kind of lose her sense of reality throughout the show. Uh, but one thing that really helped me convey that through my acting was learning about the history of the character, you know, how she uh, her past memories, her past relationships with other characters. By really learning learning that, it allowed me to understand the position she's in now and like how she got there. And it also allowed me to understand like what specific sentences or memories may cause her to be angry or like happy or paranoid. And just like learning about the history really helped. Okay, for me, I definitely think of like how she physically is in this space. She has great posture, she tries to enunciate words, thinks that she's better than a lot of other characters. So she will tend to try to look down upon people even if they are taller than her. Um, and she will just try to seem like an authority figure no matter what situation she's in. Uh, only letting that mask really slip whenever she's on her own, alone. Um, I would describe her as like a big authority figure who thinks she's better than everyone but slowly she kind of comes to the realization of who she is and I feel like at some point she kind of doesn't like who she is and yeah just like how Cassie said her mask just kind of slips away as she loses control of everything around her. Past two years in advanced acting, and I think this show is definitely something different. Uh, like, She Goes Monsters two years ago, that was like a fun, happy comedy show. Uh, Anonymous last year, that was a very serious show. It's very mystery, and it has a very interesting vibe to it that's very unique from a lot of other shows. Um, what I think sets this play apart is <clears throat> like the designing that went to the set, uh, the set especially, like big props and shout out to the tech crew who did this amazing set with the screen. I think a lot of people think that like theater is worse or not as good as like TV shows or movies because of the limited resources and space you have. But I think honestly that limitation really brings out the creativity of people and bringing out that creativity really allows the play to come to life and I think that's really what we see in Picnic at Hanging Rock. Like this amazing set was all from that creativity and yeah I think that's just really what makes this play so special. Uh, one thing I hope the audience takes away is to like not always follow social norms. I think a big reason why all these conflicts happen in the play and in the show is just because of everyone, the pressure of following social norms and the expectations of others, or from Mrs. Appleyard specifically, pushing those social norms onto other people, and that really created those conflicts. So I hope when the audience watches this, they think um, to just follow their own dreams and goals and not always uh, follow the other ex the, uh, follow other expectations of people. I really want the audience to enjoy the show and really like dig into what they think happened because it is ultimately a mystery and fairly ambiguous at times as well. So I want the audience to really come up with an idea of what they believe happened and take on that and kind of like hold on to that and be like, wow, what did happen? Come watch Picnic at Hidden Rock. It is a wonderful show with amazing cast and crew. March 14th to 16th, get your tickets at lhs.ca slash tickets.